Did we hear the term emotional intelligence before? I, I can't say that I have. Maybe, but I honestly can't say that I have. Emotional intelligence, we, we are used to hear intellectual intelligence, which is the IQ. And we, say, we think that the people that have a high, high IQ are the best effective people, the most successful people, and it's not necessarily the truth. You know, IQ will take you so far, and if you don't have high EQ, which is emotional intelligence, IQ only puts your foot in the door, and EQ is what carries you beyond. Because EQ or emotional intelligence is what gives you that empathy, and what gives you how to build relationships with people. Because emotional intelligence is like exactly what it says. Emotional intelligence is being smart about the way you feel, being smart about your emotions, and know how your emotions affect you, control you or not control you, and know how to control your feeling to let you act in a way where you're gonna actually connect with the other people. Because other people, if you have enough emotional intelligence or you develop your emotional intelligence, you'll be able to read other people's emotions and deal with them properly. Because we all feel differently because we're all different personalities. So people resonate more with people that they connect to emotionally. Isn't it better if you like someone, you're gonna be more adept to listen to them, no? Yes. That's why when we have a problem, we go to people that we trust. Because we know they have the answer. We know we can trust that whatever they're gonna tell us is what's gonna work. So we can reduce stress and decrease conflict once we start to know who we are and who the other person is. And remember, there are always three sides to the truth. We said that. My side, your side, and the truth. So uh, IQ is something genetic that we are born with, meaning our um, they say you have an IQ of whatever, you know. It's, we are born with it. We cannot really have anything to do with it. But emotional intelligence actually can, is a learned uh, factor. We can learn how to be emotionally intelligent. We can acquire that talent. So this is, um, and emotional intelligence depends on, on few factors. One of them is being self-aware of who you are. And we talked about that a little bit. Then being self-manage your feelings. Know how your emotion and your feel like your heart battle, like I mentioned before. If someone touches my pride, I go the other way. So I know now that, you know what, how to control, how to self-manage myself and not to let that heart button basically dictate my actions. So I'm becoming more emotionally intelligent about my heart buttons right now. And then social awareness is the ability of to listen to others and be persuasive to them. And the last one is relationship management, is how we manage our relationships with people. And it's on your page 14. Having people skills mean that you have effective communication, that you can understand people, express yourself clearly, assertive, being assertive. And assertive is different than aggressive, and we're gonna go into that in the next slide exchanging feedback and influencing others. Emotional intelligence, like I said, it's about self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. If we see, this is, this is basically, uh, the, here is EQ, which is emotional intelligence, it has self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship management. The corner of emotional intelligence is empathy. And empathy is when we feel for others' feelings. When we feel what they go through, even if we did not go through whatever they're going through. That's empathy. There are five stages to emotional intelligence. The first one, like we talked about, is what is it that I want to be? What is my ideal self? Where I want to be? You know, I want to be a better person, I want to be more patient, I want to be more understanding, I want to listen better actively. So this is where I want to be, where I am now. You know, it's like strategic thinking or strategic planning, if you do a strategic plan at work, where are we, where we're going, where is the gap, how we're going to go there. Strategic plan, you know, so this is the person I want to be, this is where I'm, I am right now, and we need to be very honest with ourselves. How, what is the gap? Where is it that, am I missing a lot? Am I missing a little bit? 
You know, how can I get there? Uh, should I read books? Should I attend courses? Should I travel somewhere? So it's the way how to do it that we need to fill that gap. And then we need to experiment, and we're gonna go through a lot of trials and errors till we find our way. And we need to find people around us that will support our efforts, that will let them know that this is what we're doing so they can support us.